Ahlan Bikum fi Bernamish Ask a Swim Pro Show, Makum Faris Kusaibati, Rais Sharakit, my Swim Pro, Umay Dai Pir Mumayaz, Ayman, Min Surya. Ahlan Fi. Shukran ala Hadurak, Nahna Pir Mabsutin, Ille Inta Mana Lyom. One actor. So, Ayman, tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, where are you from? Uh, I'm Ayman Kilzi from Syria. I am from Aleppo. Uh, I was born in Aleppo and uh, started swimming in Aleppo. After that, we are moving to another city in Damascus after the war started. So we don't have a swimming pool in Aleppo. So we moved to Damascus to have the camp there. After that, I get a scholarship. After like I improve in the swimming, get a good time in 200 butterfly. I get scholarship, I move to Thailand. I get scholarship three times. So tell us about your training group in Thailand. So, you know, what's it like training? Who's the coach, the group? So we are actually, we are training like so many different uh, country. We have some people from Africa, some from Asia. So it's different. Also our coach from Spain, he's Miguel, Miguel Lopez. Mm. Yep. Yeah, and so uh, Miguel gave a talk at the FINA convention, which was right before these world championships here in Hangzhou. Um, what's it like training in a group with so many swimmers from so many different countries? You know, how cool is that? Uh, it's so cool, actually, especially like you make friend, like, uh, you know, it's uh, it's not easy first. You, you feel when you are like first time when I go, I think I'm not like enjoy with different country, you know, mm. it's not same everything. You are same. I think it's like different language different what we're seeing mm. so i think i'm not make it but actually we are almost like it's like same family especially we are mm. live in one house oh you live in a house yes we are oh, live okay. in villa wow, actually. Wow. you yeah. live in a villa a villa in a villa <laughs> okay so <laughs> and then you guys travel the competitions all over the world so what's tell us about your international swimming experience like your first uh, world championships and other competitions you've been to so first comp- uh, world championship in mm. istanbul Actually, I, I did so well. I make a new, so new national record. A little bit confused, you know, the first world champion, especially when you are like a little bit young. Mm. So actually you confuse, you are shaking, shaking Learning, before. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, but after that you are learn more and more after world champion, world champion. So I went also to Kazan mm-hmm. in 2015. Yeah. I went to Budapest in 2017 mm-hmm. and now in China. Here we are in Hangzhou. Yep. What events do you, per, you know, compete in? What are your best events? A uh, best event I do 200 butterfly and 100 butterfly. Mm-hmm. Before uh, last week ago, I went to World Cup. Mm-hmm. I do qualified for world champion here in 200 butterfly. I did 157. Woo! And you broke the new broke national, a few record. national records, Alf Mabruk. Allah barik. And what's it been like uh, now? I mean, you're a national record holder and you're competing at the world champs. Mahua Akbar in Jazz Ha'ato. Akbar in Jazz. Rahakib Larab Ahsan? Eh, Ahsan. Okay. Akbar in Jazz, who is a bronze at Kas Lana, beat the Tabo. Had Akbar in Jazz Yatabar. وفي برونزية دورة الضدام الإسلامي بإندونيسيا. Mm. Uh, what advice do you have for? I mean, you're a celebrity in the, in the in the world of swimming for you know the swimmers in Syria. Uh, what advice do you have for those swimmers بالعربي؟ <laughs> يمكن أحسن نصيحة هي إنه تسبح ل لبلدك وإنه تسبح لح ل أنت تعمل شيء لحالك تعمل اسم. Mm-hmm. And what, uh, you know, what are you most looking forward to at this championship? So you have one event down and you're still competing. Why? And then past this championships in the future. So what's the next, you mean? Yes, what's next yeah. for you? What's the next? Uh, actually, we are ready for qualified for world champion. Mm-hmm. After we get uh, qualified for world champion, we should get ready for Olympic, of course, mm. the big meet. Yeah. So the the world championships in 2019? 19 in, in 2019 Korea. In South Korea. Yeah, in South Korea. So that's the next focus. Yeah, sure. And then uh, the Olympics is the next Yeah, it's <laughs> the next big stage. one. Yeah, inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. Um, what, uh, what is your favorite part about competing in an international competition like this? Actually... Especially like first we are 
learn from everything mm -hmm. also especially when you go to final and you watch uh, like uh, big swimmers like Chad Leclou or mm. Kraten Dressel yeah so you and are you competed with Chad Leclou yeah, today actually in the, today, same, yeah, the same heat you as feel him. like actually proud also yeah that was yeah. awesome <laughs> so you learn from them what you do mm. like if you have something new them mm. change something yeah so many so many things I think we all learn from the final especially from mm -hmm. the final yeah and uh, sort of going back to the advice for you know the future generation, younger younger swimmers, um, if a younger swimmer is looking to achieve a goal, um, you know what can you tell them to help them? Biarabi, biarabi. أول شيء السباحة هي يعني هي منيحة للجسم أول شيء وبتعمل لك إنه وبتسافر حول العالم. وبتقابل كثير عالم من غير بلدان بتتعلم كثير شغلات ثقافه ورياضه حتى امم امم حلو what uh, what else is you know we had Azad on the before and he was talking about the swimming family yeah. you know when you come to a competition you have the swimming family uh, what's it been like to have the swimming family in Syria and then you know the bigger swimming family how would you come you know in Arabic or English now whatever you would like with uh. the <laughs> Actually, in Arabic is much better. Yeah, hello. <laughs> so, the first thing, for example, there are like the little swimmers, the little ones, 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 uh, and what's your favorite part about uh, Hangzhou, China? So we've, you've been here for a few days. Have you been able to see anything? Uh, <laughs> Not yet. Actually, we are just like going swimming pool hotel. That's all. Swimming pool hotel. So actually, <laughs> for that, I like the the best part is the training pool near the hotel. Oh. It's so huge and like it's have close a, to here. Yeah, it's right? close to you're just like two meter. Yeah, yeah. Walk from here. Final question, because you mentioned the training no. pool. So what's it like when you go to an international competition? And the pool has so many swimmers, and so many languages are being spoken. Yeah. You know, what What's that like? How would you explain that? Actually, today when like I warm up before the racing, I, I feel like I'm in the World War Three. Yeah, you were telling me it, it seemed there were just so <laughs> Actually, many people. Yes, we are <laughs> fighting. <laughs> we are not swimming, just fighting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Another advice question. So, what do you tell someone who's never seen World War Three in a pool, and they're like, "How do I?" If they ask you, I'm an how do I swim? There's no room to swim. Where do I swim? Just jump and fight. <laughs> jump and fight and go. Oh, Montez. I love it. Uh, so <laughs> thanks for joining me on the Thank Ask a so Swim much. Pro Show. Thanks. Uh, we are in Hangzhou, China, the Fino Short Course World Championships. I am in Mansuria. Shukran, Shukran. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.